Welcome, welcome. Well, this year we started on checking out a character who had just got into the public domain. And now we're going to check out another character who also got into the public domain only two years ago. And we got to see the result of that public domain status with this film. We Need a Pooh, Blood and Honey. We Need a Pooh, Blood and Honey is a 2023 British independent slasher film edited, produced, written, and directed by Reese Frank Waterfield. And it is a horror reimagining to A.A. A. Millen's Winnie the Pooh books. Well, I don't have to tell you how huge Winnie the Pooh is, especially under Disney's flagship. So much so, the character's been associated as being a wholesome children's tale. That all changed in January 2022 when the character entered the public domain. Now, this film was first announced in May of 2022 when it drew widespread attention due to its premise involving a character that was a beloved childhood icon and it was met with divided reactions, especially from the general public and the Winnie the Pooh fan community. The film was produced by Jagged Edge Productions in association with ITN Studios. Now, the film was shot with a $100,000 budget in just 10 days in the Ashdown Forest of East Sussex, England. So, with all that out of the way, let's check it out. The film begins with some narration as we are told that a young boy named Christopher Robin met and befriended a group of anthropomorphic creatures, which include Owl, Rabbit, Eeyore, Piglet, and Winnie the Pooh. With the naivety of youth, Christopher ignored the dangers and befriended them all. He brought them food, and with each passing day together, their bond strengthened and grew. That's cool and everything, but I didn't fucking ask. However, Christopher Robin left as he had to go to college. And with the arrival of winter and no food to eat, the creatures went into starvation. And in order to survive, they settled on killing and eating Eeyore, which developed a hatred for humanity, especially for Christopher Robin. And they vowed to return to their feral instincts and never to speak again. Five years later, Christopher, now an adult, having graduated from college, returns to the Hundred Acre Woods, and he is accompanied by his fiance, Mary, who doesn't believe that Christopher's friends are real. I don't want any secrets between us, and I certainly don't want you to think I'm crazy. I don't think you're crazy, Chris. Bullshit. Anyways, they arrive to find the place as a giant shithole. feeling about this. Then they hide as one of the creatures arrives to sleep in and it cuts to nighttime and the couple are soon ambushed by Piglet who strangles Mary to death. Fatality. After which Pooh arrives and Christopher just stands there like bro get the fuck out of there. Then both Piglet and Pooh drag Christopher into the woods, showing him Eeyore's skeletal remains, and they burn a corpse. Sometime later, we meet our other protagonist of the film, Maria, who is recovering from a recent stalking incident. Then one night, I was asleep in my room. <coughs> the police found his computer and found loads of me. I had no idea. Shit just went from zero to 100 real fucking quick. Anyways, she and her friends Jessica, Alice, Zoe, and Laura rent a cabin in the Hundred Acre Woods. Oh, and there's also Tina, another friend who gets lost en route before who captures her and does this. Well, looks like Pooh is a fan of Fargo. Meanwhile, at Pooh's treehouse, Pooh, who has imprisoned Christopher, reminisces over their childhood and breaks down. Holy shit! He isn't going to do what I think he's going to do! Then he brutally whips Christopher with Eeyore's tail. And he shows Christopher Mary's corpse. The same corpse that was barbecued earlier. 
and Pooh showers Christopher in Mary's blood. Anyways, as night falls, Pooh hears some music and it turns out to be Laura hot tubbing and posting thirst traps on Instagram. She notices Pooh in the background in one of her selfies and she doesn't fucking leave. Then Pooh and Piglet show up and ambush her, knocking her out. Then she wakes up hogtied and we see why. Anyways, the rest of the girls find Laura's dead body and panic as blood is smeared on the windows, spelling get out. And they spot Pooh being fucking Candyman for some reason. Then Maria and Zoe arm themselves with knives, and it turns out Maria is trapped with a fucking magnum. Goddamn, Dirty Harry would be proud. Anyways, Alice and Zoe end up in the pool room where Piglet shows up, knocking out Alice, and goes after Zoe. Then, Marie and Jessica find Zoe's floating corpse and observe as both Pooh and Piglet take Alice away and the girls decide to rescue her. And after that shit, Pooh eats some honey and Pimp slaps Alice for some reason. So yeah, the girls rescue Alice and they enter Pooh's treehouse where they find and free Christopher Robin who directs them to help out the other hostage, Charlene, who was briefly, and I do mean briefly, seen earlier at the gas station. Anyways, Charlene is feet and she is pissed as Piglet mutilated her face. So she takes Maria's gun and summons Piglet to kill him. Anyways, Pooh shows up and knocks her down, and pours honey on her face, and Piglet mauls her to death. Anyways, Pooh chases Maria and Jessica into the woods, and Alice stays behind and knocks Piglet unconscious with his own sledgehammer. Then she beats the shit out of Piglet. Anyways, on the road, Marie and Jessica seek help from a group of local British rednecks, and when Pooh shows up, they beat the shit out of him. Few moments later, then Pooh beats the shit out of all of them. Oh, and he kills the last one, Candyman style. Then, Maria tries to run him over with the Bumpkin's pickup truck, but crashes. And when she wakes up, she watches as Pooh kills Jessica by decapitating her. And, by the way, we don't see the decapitation itself. He then tries to kill Maria until Christopher shows up driving a car and crashes into Pooh. And after that shit, Pooh frees himself and holds Maria at knife point. And Christopher pleads for Pooh to release her, promising to stay with him and apologizing for abandoning him and the others. Take me instead. You loved. Ah! Shit just went from zero to 100 real fucking quick. And after seeing his former friend is now beyond help, Christopher fucking books it. And Winnie the Pooh just stabs the shit out of her. Just like this bitch. In the film, 
ends there. And that was Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. The film received overwhelmingly negative reviews, but it was a financial hit as it grossed over $5.2 million worldwide against a $100,000 budget. And thanks to its success, it was followed up by a sequel, which has a bigger budget than the first one. And it also got the filmmakers into developing more horror films based on characters like Peter Pan and Bambi. So with all that out of the way, now what do I think of this movie? And well, it is bad. I mean, really bad. Like, it feels like they didn't put that much effort into this. For instance, it's not even scary. The storyline is, like, predictable as hell. Well, I wouldn't say 100% predictable, as that final kill at the end did catch me by surprise. And the characters are one-dimensional. Like, for instance, with Maria, you try to make her sympathetic by giving her a, a sad backstory with the stalking incident, but they don't really go through with it. And hell, I kept getting the girls confused with each other, and I didn't even feel bad for any of them, not even for Christopher Robin. And I have to admit, with some of the practical effects, especially with the kills, it looks decent, but with some of the CGI stuff, it looks like dog shit. And from what I heard, the filmmakers had fun making this, so there's that, I guess. But overall, this film is just a cash grab on Winnie the Pooh, and it's not even a good slasher movie. It's not even like a bad cheesy slasher films, like the ones that came out in the 80s. It's just a bland and boring horror film. And I have to rate this film 1 out of 5 bloody honey pots. And that was the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos just like this. Oh, and if you like my work, support the channel at Coffee. And for those who don't know, Coffee is like Patreon but based. There you can support me, whether it's a dollar or more, and you get to have your names in the credits. And if you do support me, I thank you very much, and I appreciate it very much. Stay safe out there. Goodbye.